We've been working through some quotes I was asked to respond to by a user called Tegrity on TikTok who had found online some disturbing quotes from the Talmud. In the past two videos, I've shown how most of these quotes are actual fabrications that go back all the way to the 17th century. Today, I want to focus on a quote he gave that's actually partially correct, but totally misunderstood by those who attack the Talmud. He quotes Bava Nesia 114b, the Jews are human beings, but the nations of the world, Goyim, are not human beings, but beasts. By Baba Nasia, I think he means Bava Metzia. It does not say anything about Jews, uh, non-Jews being beasts there at all. Now, the background is a discussion about the laws of impurity of a dead body. Does it apply to non-Jews or only to Jews? After all, laws of purity and impurity are not part of the Noahide laws, the seven laws that apply to all humans. So maybe the laws only apply to Jewish corpses and the Talmud rules, in fact, that's true. The graves of Gentiles don't cause ritual impurity. Quoting a verse in Ezekiel 34, 31 that says, Now you, i.e. Israel, are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, you are Adam. Rabbi Shimon says, you are called Adam, not the Gentiles. Now, since the word Adam is often translated as human, it sounds like the Talmud saying, you Jews are called humans and the non-Jews are not humans, which that's how the anti-Semitic attacks against the Talmud quote it. By the way, there are also some Jews who misread the Talmud in that way and do exhibit a kind of derogatory attitude towards non-Jews. It's a small minority who do, but it is wrong. We have to call it out and it's unacceptable. So what's the truth? In Tanakh, in the Hebrew Bible, there are four words of being human, Ish, Enosh, Gever, and Adam. The first three always refer to Jews and non-Jews alike. So clearly Bible and Talmud believe Jews and non-Jews are both equally human. The word Adam is different. Sometimes it does refer to all humans. Sometimes it only refers to Jews. As I've explained in previous videos, Adam in the Garden of Eden is not one human, but a soul containing a oneness of all humanity. Since Adam was expelled from the garden into the world of our consciousness today, our job is to rebuild humanity as one and return to the state of Eden. The Jewish people are meant to be a microcosm of that and bring the messianic era and eventually all of humanity can join together. So that's why sometimes we refer to the Jewish people as Adam, like microcosmic Adam, like in the case quoted above about ritual impurity of a corpse. Why? Because it's only relevant to Jewish law. As soon as the, the issue is relevant to all of humanity, the word Adam will always refer to all of humanity. For example, Talmud, Avodah Zarah 3a, says a non-Jew studies the laws of Torah relevant to them, the Noahide Code, is as great as the Jewish high priest in the temple. Because in Leviticus 18.5, it talks about any Adam keeping Torah, earning the world to come. That context refers to non-Jews too. So the claim that Talmud thinks only Jews are human is flat out wrong, based on not seeing the line in its true context. I'll finish with one more quote from the Talmud in Pirkei Alvis 3.14 that says, Beloved is Adam, for he is created in the image of God. And almost all commentators say that refers to all humans, Jew and Gentile alike. The Talmud understands that all of us are beloved to God because despite all of our differences, all humans share being created equal in the image of God.